Well, for a storm surge to occur, you need several elements all to come into play at once. You need a deep air of low pressure, around that some very strong winds swirling, and independent of them both, you also need some very high tides around the coast, and that's what's been occurring. On Thursdays, deep air of low pressure passes to the north of the UK in the direction of Norway. Now, low pressure systems are effectively zones of rising air, that air is rising en masse. It's that rising air which produces the rain clouds we see. But if you think about it, if you get that air rising at any great rate, you're actually lifting a little bit of weight off the Earth's surface. And the impact of that is greatest, of course, over open waters. And it's around the centre of the low-pressure system where the air is rising greatest, you get a bulge forming. This is where the sea level rises a little bit higher than the sea around it. Now, as a low-pressure system pushes away, you then get very strong winds pushing that bulge in the direction of the coast. And in the North Sea, that can have a huge, huge impact. Certainly on Thursday into Friday, strong winds through the North Sea are pushing that bulge further and further south. It meets the land straight away across Holland, but also between Holland, Netherlands, also East Anglia and Kent, you get a narrowing of the North Sea. And that almost squeezes the water into a tight space, causing the levels of the sea to rise even more. And that's why not only are we seeing high sea levels across much of the eastern coast. It's towards East Anglia and the southeast, towards that squeeze in the North Sea, where the sea levels could have their greatest impact and perhaps cause the greatest amount of flooding.